Have you heard about all the money that was given to the big banks? Have you heard about the trillions of dollars that were given to the big banks like Goldman Sachs and JP Morgan that the taxpayers are going to have to pay back? It's 23.7 trillion. Have you heard anything about uh, the largest bank robbery in reverse, if you will, in the history of our country? Sorry, uh, I speak Kelly right now. Okay. Uh, I'm, from, I'm from Mexico. Okay. Yeah. You're from Mexico? Yeah. All right. Well, they got a corrupt government down there, just like the United States, and it's like the real mafia. The real mafia is not what we think. It's the people that are bringing the drugs actually into the United States that control the Mexican government, and in many cases, the, the drug war down there, the cartels, they go back and forth, back and forth between them. Yeah. You've I'm, heard about that? My first time is an American this year. Yeah, it's my first time. I never come here. It's, uh, it's, it's not, I like uh, Portland. Oregon is very nice. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's my first time in, in America. Mm -hmm. Yeah, never come come in, in, in America. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, it's well, yeah. thank you. Yeah. How you feel about the direction that the country is going in? Do you really believe that there's change in this country, or do you think it's the same old, same old? Are you starting to connect the dots that it's really a one-party state, one-party system, that it's only the illusion of Obama. change? I think there's change. People are fighting it though. So yeah, I mean, we finally have somebody with a brain and power. Yeah. Is, that, is okay. change just not rhetoric? I mean, in reality, what does that really mean? No. So if we, if we start focusing on what the problems are here, like we just decimated our economy. Everybody keeps blaming and the how banks. how did that happen? Because we are greedy. Everybody did it. Nobody knows how to do an amateurization schedule. They don't know what they can afford. They're responsible for it. We need to start educating people here. Maybe we'll actually increase our economy, start doing some innovation. We might actually have some relevance and be able to help somebody right. somewhere else. We can't even clean our own water. We're worried about other people's water. Because we can't deal with our own agriculture. How are we going to deal with somebody else's? I understand We're spending that. so much time spending money on wars and crap and trying to interfere with other people's issues. You know, we got to fix some of our own problems for a little bit. And, uh, bring it and home, huh? Bring it home. And that'll naturally create some education about worldly things, you know? Maybe incorporate travel as part of everybody's educational system. You're Alex, huh? Alex Hanser. So you're not pro Obama. Think about very much about where we're going. That's a full-on crash of the economy. And so, with this information that we have, education, as you said, we can get prepared for the things that are already happening. People are still losing their jobs, and most of the jobs that are being created are government jobs. And so, when you take a look at what's going on, the free market's literally being destroyed. But they say it's all just capitalism, the free market. But then, why are they bailing out? auto manufacturing if it's free market why are they bailing out the banks why don't they let the banks fail and right. let credit oh, right, right, credit right, unions right, right. rise why don't you give me a 4,000 page document of your economic plan that would have been superior buddy because when I... was the federal reserve created <laughs> <laughs> when was the federal reserve no 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 when was the federal reserve no, no, are, are you an we economist are, are you an economist i know are a you, lot about the economy are you, you an economist are you an economist? No, I'm not. You want to tell me you have a better plan for bailing out what just happened? Most of the Trillions of dollars. We're no longer in the area of billions. I mean, they're, they're gambling out? with the sovereignty of our country in the future. This whole country could crash as a result of this what they've like done. This is like having a conversation with a pinball man. You're like a, <laughs> you're like a pinball machine. And we got to make dinner right. in 15 minutes before our buddy but gets you here. Don't have to think <laughs> what I'm doing is trying to get other people's views on what's going on with the world and if they're aware that our current president is actually expanding the war instead of bringing it back and curtailing it. Your thoughts on the state of the country? I'm still in high school. I mean, we really? study like current issues, but not. What do you guys study in high school? Um, I just bought some books for my social justice class. Oh yeah? <laughs> yeah do I they gotta... talk about the Constitution at all? Bill of Rights? I mean, we don't go in depth. Yeah. I'm, I'm in US history this year, but... Mm -hmm. um, I mean, they say like it was created, but we don't. What do they, they talk, talk about, about in U.S. history? Because I know that some of the textbooks change every couple of years. Yeah, right now we're studying um, World War Two mm -hmm. or World War One, the end of World War One. Interesting. I. And um, we're watching the movie Flyboys mm -hmm. for the World War One thing. Have you ever heard of the Federal Reserve? Well, no? I've heard of it, You've but heard of I have no idea this. I'm probably making an idiot out of myself right now. Here's something to share with your classmates, and you can bring it up. You can ask okay. a question to your teacher. When was the Federal Reserve created? And see if she is even aware of that. I'm it was sure created in 1913. Yeah. And if you look at when World War II happened, when we, one rather, when we first got involved in it, it was 1917, and we had to borrow a lot of money to get into war. 
And so there is this big connection between the big banks, the Federal Reserve, and loaning money out to government so they can build up their military industrial complex and then wage their imperialistic war on all these different countries. And so World War I and World War II was very important to start taking a look at the money trail and what went wrong. And, and there's also information about Prescott Bush, the grandfather of the last president. He was in the New York Times in 1941 for actually giving money to the enemy, giving money to Hitler. And so there's, there's actual economic ties that we can prove tangibly with data that there's a connection. And so maybe you could just throw out some questions to the teacher and say, I'd like some clarification on this illegal corporation, the Federal Reserve, that's literally printing money out of thin air that literally was established before our country started going into all these uh, other countries via World War I, World War II, Vietnam, Korea, the first Gulf War, the war we're in now, and the war that they're preparing for in the future. Well, I'm Alex. We go to Special and Access TV. Do you trust the mainstream media? No? Do you feel like it's time to become more vocal about the issues that affect us all, or do you think it's time to keep our mouths shut and say nothing about what's going on with the current administration? Uh, it's time to give reflective thought. Reflective thought. How's it going, sir? Howdy. What do you think about Obama? Um, How about those banker bailouts, huh? How about those uh, Pakistan UAV drones? The war is expanding now. Not the greatest thing ever. Now. Yeah, I hear about the troop surge. What was all that stuff about bringing the troops home? What was all that stuff about, like, Gitmo closing? Like, I don't understand what happened here. Do you feel robbed? Uh, I feel like things could have gone better, definitely. I wasn't a real fan of him to start with, and yeah. that, that does not really serve my interest now. Well, I, I don't have a whole lot of faith in the government in general now, and I don't like the way things are going. Do you have faith in our community here? that we'll be able to come together one day, look each other in the eye, and address the issues that affect us all. I love our communities, especially in Portland. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, that's, that was definitely good stuff. How's it going? Do you think Obama's going to stop the wars? Do you think this is real? Or just an illusion like a movie? Like we're living in a bad movie, like a rerun or a record that just skips. Are you really can't answer that. Come on. How's it going? Good. Do you think we should remain silent about issues that pertain to our Bill of Rights and the Constitution? Or do you think we should become vocal about it? It depends. It depends. Do you want to get thrown in the American gulag? <laughs> if you don't, well, you probably should be quiet about it. Well, I'm not going to be quiet about it, and I'm going to keep going forward with my birth name. Five years doing the show, we're not going to stop. And what more people are going show? to continue waking up. Here, I'll give you the card. There's more of us now than ever that are starting to wake up, and they can't control us all. And I know a little bit about FEMA camps, by the way. There aren't enough of them right now ready to go to put us all in them. But and there's, there's always constantly that, we're doing this to you, and you're on the terror watch list. And if they tell people all this stuff, it might influence some people to go, you know what, I ain't going to say nothing. The video games and stuff. I want to use my own body as a video game, you know, by like doing push-ups and jumping jacks and running and croquet, uh, which is my favorite sport. Croquet, Alice in Wonderland. Because you can play that sport and then just have like get drunk at the same time and then have like finger sandwiches. I mean, uh -huh. it's perfect. Anyway, um, are you a Republican or a Democrat? Neither. I don't, I, I, I'm not I falling into that a box. Bit as a Republican. Because you know, you got a lot of criminality on both sides. And you know what? What is Let your... me tell you this. I'm going to answer that question. They are there to debunk what we're doing, those that are going beyond the left and the right. The Glenn Becks of the world, the Rush Limbaugh's of the world, and the Sean Hannity's of the world, they're actually hijacking the revolution's no, wait talking a minute. points. Wait a minute. They're hijacking the revolution's talking points. So people think when they hear what we're saying that we're Republicans. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Association. They're trying to associate themselves with the real grassroots movement, and they're fakes. I, uh, I hope you're not saying anything bad about Glenn Beck, because I do like that show. Glenn Beck One said that Ron Paul supporters were terrorists last year, and they ought to be investigated. And so he's played both sides. When he was that guy on TV, when Bush was the president, you know, he was all right along with the NSA wiretapping and whatnot. And now he's saying maybe we do need higher taxes. Well, I think Glenn Beck is like the best thing that's happened to TV since Ernest Angley, who was like... I was a huge fan. No one's ever heard of him, of 